In this video, I'm going to show you one simple adjustment that you can use out of the Cover 6 to absolutely shut down the majority of what people like to do out of the Trips Tied In meta offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now guys, I am going to be breaking down a concept that you can use out of my 245 odd defensive guide. If you've not already picked up the entire 245 odd defensive game plan, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. It's by far the best defense in the game for several different reasons, and one of them is because you can create incredible incredible pressure. So if you want to get the full 245 odd defense and help you start winning more games in weekend league and in tournaments, I would encourage you to get that 245 or five odd defense it's on sale for just $15 we completely break it down against all of the meta formations and we also show you over 20 different blitzing concepts that you can use okay guys so the play that we're going to be coming out in every single time against the trips tied in is the nickel 245 odd cover six the reason I like the cover six is because it's going to be cover four palms to the left side of the field and on the right side of the field it's going to be cover two sink. And we're just going to literally make one adjustment and we're going to be done. We don't have to do anything else. All we're going to do is we're going to put the safety on the right side of the screen into an inside quarter zone. And against trips tight end, what this is going to do for a play like this PA counter go meta. All we're going to do is this, and I want you to watch what's going to happen to the crossing route. So this crossing route is one of the better routes in the game, but you're going to see here it's going to be completely taken away by that one simple adjustment. Now, I will tell you this. Um, if you wanted to kind of complete this, uh, this and turn this into a cover four style defense, I would show blitz. Uh, and then I would go with that inside quarter there. And then the next thing that I would do is take that outside guy and put him on a outside quarter. He'll take away tight end corner routes or anything like that. And then I would actually man up the running back with this guy or just drop him into a... Uh, a curl flat or a hard flat okay so i'm just going to man him up on the running back i find that to be the most effective way to play this defense but you see here a couple different adjustments that you could do and then again i want to show you that this what what happens is that inside quarter will always take that crosser and we'll pretty much completely bag it now right there we got open i think it's because we forgot to pass commit but let me show you this again and again i'm just going to pass commit and what you're going to see here is we should pretty much take care of the majority of what people like to do from trips tight end. You see the pressure is super good as well. Even with a blocked tight end and a blocked running back, we're going to get a, a you know a, a pretty quick pressure on the opponent as well out of this. Now the other reason why I like this is let's say for example they go to the play curl flat. Okay, um, so let's say they go to the play curl flat. Now oftentimes kind of delay fade deal. I'll take Davis here and actually just put him in man coverage on the tight end. Now, I'm not going to do that in this example, um, but I could. That's that's an adjustment that I could make. Um, but what I want to show you against curl flat is this right here. So a lot of times we like to take this tight end and put him on like a little drag, a little thing, whatever, trying to get this crossing action over to circle. But the match coverage you're going to see does a really good job of just kind of pushing this to the sideline and forcing this concept out of the way. Now, the one play that I will talk about just briefly in this video is that I think is actually really effective is that doubles in sales. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the square receiver on a smoke screen. We're going to put triangle on a vertical. Then we're going to put that circle receiver on the corner. And if you watch this, this corner route, the, in this year's game, last year you could make that into a really effective match beater. You could easily just uh, sharply cut out of that. And it was, it was really, really difficult to guard. In this year's game, what, you, what you're going to see a lot more of is this. You're going to see a lot more of this right here. So we're just going to put – it's a, it's more of a rounded corner. And so because it's more of a rounded corner, you're going to see it just kind of like lag. It, it, it like lags. And as you see right there, that safety has a chance to be able to go play that, play that route. Now, I want to give you another thing that you can do, and I would say most people aren't running flood out of trips left. What you're seeing more is these crossing routes. So another little trick of the trade that you can use against it, especially if they're running a lot of crossing routes, is you could man this guy up on the tight end. That's going to take away the delay fade. And then you could put this guy in the outside quarter, 
And then again, you've got this guy to kind of watch the running back. And now, with that outside quarter zone, because we've manned up the tight end, and we're not even going to put the tight end on the route, even if we did it, wouldn't matter. Now what you should see is we're going to get this really good match coverage onto that guy. And then, as you can see, it's really pushing this route to the sideline. Obviously, you're going to have a user in the area as well to be able to help you take care of everything that they're going to be able to do from the trips tied in. But this is truly one of my favorite coverages. Um, let me show you one other route combination just because I have a hot route master. I'm going to use a corner, a smoke screen, and a streak. And I just want to show you how this is going to work. And for the most part, this doesn't, you know, this coverage really doesn't have a ton of like one play touchdowns out of this there's some but not a ton but if you take a look at this corner you see that that corner route is going to be pretty well defended and what this is going to do is it's going to put you in a position where majority of what they're going to be able to throw is a crosser from left to right now one little pro tip on this is i can audible to this uh, it, it really doesn't matter what play but i can audible to the cover for drop Okay, now if I go to the cover four drop, what I can do with this is I can hot route, and I'm not sure if it'll work out a cover four drop. I know it works out a cover three. But I'm gonna put both of these guys on inside quarter zones. And what you're gonna notice is this is gonna, especially if I haven't set zone drops, this is gonna turn them into matching quarter zones. And if you watch this circle receiver, oftentimes that's gonna take that completely away. Now, obviously it didn't work out a cover four drop, so let me show it to you. Um, it's really good out of cover two as well. But it's good out of cover three and cover two. So you'll see here, here's cover three. I put that guy in the in that in that inside quarter zone. Okay. And then, like I said, you know, we could kind of set this up essentially the same. So if you're ever struggling to stop a crosser, this is like the easiest way to do it. Obviously, we're gonna be fine most of the time against it, to be honest, um, with the original setup. But if they're really hammering home these crossers and posts, this right here is a really good way to stop it. As you saw right there, that guy was in really good position. I just need to click on and pick it off. For whatever reason, whenever you put hot routed inside quarters on the field, and I can show, I can't, I don't have to cover two in here, but I'll do it out of three, three, five wide. So you'll see here, I'll put this guy on the right in an inside quarter. Okay. What he's going to do, as long as I don't have zone drop set, he is going to really, really do a good job of matching this crossing route. The first one from the trips is who he takes. If I try to throw that, he's always there in a position to be able to make a play. So that is kind of how you can build these coverages on stacking them on top of one one another to create this really effective defense for the trips tight end meta because you've got a lot of things going your way if you think about how well this does against the base call and i mean the deep half zone he will match occasionally as you see right there he does occasionally match but that's also why i like to put him on that inside quarter and then one little thing that you could do is you could also spotlight that slot. That's kind of just say to the defense, hey, you know, kind of pay special attention to him, especially if the safety's rolling. You'll see here, you get this nice match coverage, pass lead that, and I mean, that's a it's a bang bang throw, and it's really the only throw they have out of the numbers, the several different plays that you're probably going to see now. A concept like this out of verticals is fairly effective, but again, your user and you've got match coverage, I mean, that's a tight throw. He's going to get tackled. You're going to have a chance for a swat. There's a lot of things that are going to have to go right for the offense for them to be able to throw stuff like that. So, you know, that's why I love this play. Uh, let me give you another setup here that is very popular. This is uh, one of my good friends, Spam and Button's favorite play, and he's a trips tight end demon. But this is a quarters, uh, or not quarters, but a match play that he ran a lot last year. I'm thinking, I'm sure he still runs this this year. But you see that, you see that running back get like that. Now the reason why that happens is again, and this is why I say whenever you're playing match, um, like against a trips, whether it be uh, tray open or bunch or trips tied in, it doesn't matter. You really want to try to understand what you need to do to stop the match. So a couple things we can do. One is we can man align and show blitz. What that's going to do, if you take a look at this, is it's going to change some of the assignments. You see here how it changes some of the assignments? So now what I can do, let me show this, um, let me make sure this is the right adjustment. 
yeah, inside quarter of this guy. And then now I've got this guy who I can say, you're going to play the man coverage on the running back. So if the running back goes on a streak or something, you know, now I've got a guy in the area that can take this away. So you see here, there's that corner streak concept. This time the corner got open because I didn't finish my, my setup. But you saw the running back streak is completely taken away. So that's the idea here is we're going to force them to have to do a very specific setup to be able to get consistent separation. And they're going to have to do that on a timer because the pass rush from 3-3-5 odd is insane, especially the blitzing concepts that we can stack on top of everything that we're already doing, as you see right here. For example, we could do something like this where... You know, let me show you the let me show you the play art here. But now you've got this guy right here who you're gonna say, you know what, you take the tight end wherever he goes, and then you take the running back, and then now you've got this guy. And you look at the roll, you see how we've rolled the coverage in a significant way. And then I can take this guy right here, my nickel corner or that guy that's man aligned there. I don't really need to have that guy in coverage. And now I've got a position where I can send a five-man pressure uh, at the opponent and really put them in a position where, you know, again, if they can't make significantly difficult catches on stuff like that without my user even in the play, it's going to be very difficult. So this is a good defense against trips tight end. It's a great base defense. Just make sure my advice would be to man up the running back, man up the tight end, roll everything over to the trip side. Uh, I think that's the easiest way to slow down a lot of what people like to do at a trips tight end right now. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's how to stop trips tight end with the nickel 335 odd cover. Or I think I'm in the 245 odd actually. Um, let me double check. Let me make sure here. 245 odd, yep. And if you want to get my full 245 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description of the video. It's really, really good because it's got so many good blitzes. There are so many easy ways to get pressure out of this thing. This defense is what makes this defense so special to me is how really, like, seriously, how good the blitz is. Like, you can send easy pressures. If you take a look here, I mean, this is an, an, an easy pressure setup. We're just going to send a five man contain rush. And, you know, you're just going to see we're going to be able to put some pretty significant pressure at the quarterback in addition to all of the great things we could do from a coverage perspective. We've got two-man edge rush, three-man edge rush, all that stuff. So if you want to learn the entire 245-odd defense from start to finish and how to apply the defense to specific meta offenses like trips tied in, U-trips, gun bunch, all of that stuff, again, there's a link in the description. You can get the full guide for just 15 bucks.